Or hello people and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to be playing some Call of Duty Ghosts, the Xbox One version that is, here in 2023 through my Xbox Series X. So it's not the console that this game came out on. Of course, it came out on the Xbox One. Also the Xbox 360, this was the first time, this was kind of a weird era we had here, which was the transition from 360 to Xbox One, from PlayStation 3 to PlayStation 4. Obviously, this game is a Call of Duty that had two copies. You had a 360 version, an Xbox One version, you had a PS3 version, you had a PS4 version. And today, we're going to play it here in 2023 on Xbox One, of course, like I said, through my Xbox Series X here in 2023. We're going to see, well, just how alive it is. Talk about Call of Duty Ghosts, you know, kind of what it was like, the player experience back in the day and stuff. And we're, gonna, we're just going to see how this experience is here in 2023. So I'm hoping everything works. This isn't my original account, of course. I have actually got to level 40 on this account, though, which I didn't realize. I actually thought I'd never, ever leveled up on this account, but apparently I have. So, of course, we have the Vector, the MTAR. The Vector was like one of the best guns in this game. AK-12 was a solid choice. I'm trying to think of what other guns were in this game that were quite iconic. The Ripper, an awesome DLC this was. I never got the DLC, but this was an awesome little D uh, DLC gun. The Bison for a few weeks was quite overpowered in this game. Then it got nerfed. LMGs, we had the Chainsaw LMG, if you guys remember that. Uh, the Remington Assault Rifle, this thing. If you guys, you guys are a true OG if you remember how broken and overpowered this was when this game launched. It was so overpowered, I'm pretty sure it got nerfed on day one because it was that broken crazy op gun a very forgotten overpowered gun this was and it's still probably pretty decent now the honey badger again integrated silencer first of its kind was a cool gun sc2010 was a cool gun there's a lot of things that were cool about this game to be fair even the perk system now i'm not gonna lie right because everyone thinks the pick 10 system is like the best system we have. and uh, me too right i do agree i think the pick 10 system is the greatest system we can have this perk system here was actually really good and criminally criminally underrated this was so good it gave you so much customization the sort of freedom that you don't get now like you're kind of stuck with certain perks and stuff we've we're not even allowed to have two perks anymore at the moment in mw2 etc this this was the best set like this is one of the best perks that uh well outside of pick 10 that we've ever had you could have a specialist of course you could have your uh, kill streaks, which I don't think were too hard in this game. By the way, if you remember Riley, the little dog that would run around the map and kill you, that thing was crazy. But anyway, let's do let, let's talk and let's find out how we're doing. And uh, 218 players online. It's not a lot of people. I'm actually very surprised that there's a strike zone playlist and there's nobody in it. So we're going to play TDM because that's not looking like our best opportunity to get into a game. We'll see how quick it is, which is actually really quick. That was quite surprising. Again, there is hardly any players the connection quality might take a dip here however if i do remember correctly in this game you can't actually see your ping bar so it's gonna be an interesting one this game though i do remember it vividly i didn't play it a lot i'm gonna be honest i think this game suffered from being the next call of duty after black ops 2 i think a lot of people would say this is also it's gonna be a bit unfair but i think a lot of people would say this card was like the start of the decline or one of the Call of Duty's that kind of was the start of the decline of Call of Duty series. Which is a shame. I didn't even realize that was a guy there. Uh, which is kind of a shame because this game was okay. Like it was not it was not bad in any way, shape or form. It just suffered from being the game that came out after Black Ops 2. And Black Ops 2, of course, we don't need to talk about that too much. One of the best games ever released, though. We, we, we don't need to discuss that game. We're talking about, of course this game and uh it did some things that weren't so great in my opinion and some things that were so good were great but obviously a lot of call of duty stuff from the same thing right you get some things that are good some things that are bad that's just that's just how it is this game in my opinion had a really really good hit detection it was very very good it had good guns uh the time to kill is something i'd say was a bit iffy with this game and then and one of these as well the ied i completely forgot about that and how annoying those are but uh yeah the maps weren't horrible some were, some were bad some were very bad like stonehaven re memorable absolutely memorable but was it great let's be honest it wasn't great i mean that was just bad aim from me 
bit difficult to get adjusted to. Uh, I can't remember what the field of view for these old games are, but uh, oh, whoa, you can get up there. Okay, I did not know. That's what the uh, there's a little cart that go up, goes above, doesn't it? But uh, yeah, this game wasn't that bad. Like it wasn't amazing either. Like it was not the greatest Call of Duty ever seen, right? Bit criminally underrated though. A bit criminally underrated. I think Search and Destroy was incredible in this game. Really, really good game. It's just. It just didn't have that spark that Black Ops 2 had, unfortunately. Which is a shame because. Again, this wasn't a bad game. But living up to the expectations of Black Ops 2 is really, really hard to come by. And again, people put this in the list of the start of the decline of Call of Duty. Uh, I don't really know what to exp like to say like when it comes to this game. Like what what it done bad. I can't say this game done anything tr truly bad. Really, you know, this, this wasn't the start of skill based matchmaking. This wasn't the start of like paid for weapons. This had some cool little unique stuff as well. Like uh, when they'd release DLC maps, uh, they would have what you call it like the tasks so if you go if I, if I get a chance to see there's like briefcases that spawn and some maps had unique like kill streaks like you could be michael myers on one map there was a lot of cool things about this game and i think it was just heavily heavily underrated um i think camping was a big problem in this game though like again that's due to the time to kill i think the time to kill was probably one of the biggest issues of this game uh ieds of course were crazily overpowered but yeah the time to kill was a bit nuts it was very very fast something we haven't really seen in a call of duty well other call of duty time kills are pretty fast but this one this one was kind of really fast and uh i'll be able to see ping is a pretty is a pretty uh iffy one as well i don't know how this guy keeps getting up he must just keep getting on the thing the gun sounds were nice though again like i said a lot of the maps were okay some were absolutely horrible, but, but you know, that's an expected, that's a typical Call of Duty experience, that is. You, not every game has a perfect map set, except for, except for maybe Black Ops 1, right? I'd argue Black Ops 1 has a perfect map set. I don't think Black Ops 1 has a map that you'd back out of, is how I determine if you have a good map, uh, map set. Oh, there's the IED. How do you avoid those things? How do you avoid those things? I don't know. Do I need flat jacket? I don't know. I'm not running flat jacket. I don't know what my perks are, to be honest. I haven't really got the time to go through and sort other perks because it is a bit of a, a mess around to play around. But it, again, it was cool because you had so much customizable perks, you know, the ability to actually change your perks and be be different, you know? That's something that was really cool. Um, DLC maps, I don't really remember too many DLC maps. I do just remember, like, I, I mainly just remember the uh, the kill streaks that would come from it, from the briefcases. I'm hoping to get the briefcase. Obviously, it has the chem strike, I believe it's called. The KEM strike, I think as it's called, is the, basically the nuke in this game. I never got a nuke in this game. I didn't play it very often. Uh, what's this? this? Is some like biohazard thing? So yeah, this is like a unique kill streak, I guess, for this map that they are using. Uh, I can't see anything though, so I can't say this is one of the greatest things here. But this wasn't a bad game. Let me know down below anyway. I want to ask you guys' opinion. What did what did you think of Call of Duty Ghosts? Because I don't like it's it's weird. I don't hear this game being hated but i don't also hear this game being raved about it's it's an odd one i can't see yeah i, I cannot see because of this smoke it's crazy oh yeah that i remember that the thermals in this game were crazy whoever used that chem strike or whatever it is briefcase thing i don't know what it is i, I can't see i can't see <laughs> but uh yeah what did you think of Call of Duty ghost did you like it did you hate it again i don't really know what to think of it i can't say it's a game that i don't know i don't know how to avoid those ids like do you dive or do you, do you just hope for the best that you don't run into one do you jump i don't know we're not doing horrible though considering it's our first game like back on here in god knows how long of course we're facing some people just absolutely abusing the meta which was the ieds and stuff which again is not surprising is there a guy somewhere anywhere i can't find anyone Again, we're not on a horrible map. Wow, you can knife like that in this game? I thought the Commando Lunch was not a thing in this game. Turns out I'm wrong. Anyway, that game's over. Kind of glad that's over just because it got a little bit stale near the end there. There was like nobody getting killed in the kill feed and stuff. Again, I didn't prestige in this game, at least not on this account. I do believe I did back on the 360. It was a weird time. 
it was a very weird time. Of course, we didn't have crossplay either. So once you're on Xbox One, you played Xbox One. When you're on PS4, you played PS4. So it was very, very difficult. So I was kind of expecting to actually not find any lobbies here, to be fair. So I'm quite shocked. You can play uh, Call of Duty Ghosts here in 2023 if you guys are interested, of course. Up to you guys whether or not you would. Strike Zone. Yes, please. This is a good map. I love this map. I thought this was a great map. Do not vote for free for what is going on here. Absolutely not. I believe this was also a free DLC map. Uh, I do remember this one. It was like a skyscraper. It has different levels to it, I believe, if I can think off the top of my head. Was I any good at this game? Can I find out? I've actually got like a... Can I see my KD in this game? I have no idea. Can I, can I see that? I did okay. At a 1.5. I mean, it's not, it's not incredible. Uh, the thing that I struggled with this game back in the day, and it's probably more from my end, I used to play on a very, very bad monitor, to be honest. And I say monitor, it was more a little TV that cost about £50 or something. It looked like a wing mirror, okay? It was horrible. Uh, the visibility. The visibility in this game was pretty poor. Uh, for me right now, playing on the monitor that I have now and playing on Xbox Series X, uh, it's great. Like, visually, this game looks great. Not amazing, not super amazing, like, compared to the, you know, graphics we have nowadays. Obviously, this is a... Call of Duty that kind of stayed within its limits. It kind of was the same, like, concept build of, like, you know, going all the way from, like, COD 3, 4, all the way through, you know, got a little bit better graphic-wise, but it still maintained the same sort of, like, COD-looking feel to the game compared to what we have now since MW 2019. Obviously, Cold War was a bit, you know, was more COD-feeling, but MW 2019, we've got MW 2 at the moment. MW 3, of course, is going to be the same type of game. Uh, we're going to do something different, though. Let's, uh... Let's go with the MTAR here. What do you what do you guys as well think? MTAR or Vector for best gun in the game? Or let me know if you got something else in mind that you think was the best gun in this game. But uh, yeah, we're going to hopefully go do decent here. I hope uh, running into people. I don't know how close the spawns are. I know they're quite close. I'm hoping people don't just camp. Those are some nice shots. There you go. So we want that briefcase. Want to hit our shots too. That would be nice. Uh, the thing that's difficult to adjust to is, of course, this game has uh, some dead zones, which you can't change, okay? Like, I can definitely feel the dead zones. There's nothing I can do about that. There's no, like, Xbox uh, Elite controller saying that I can do to kind of fix that. Maybe I could by changing it to instant, but I'm not going to mess around with that now whilst I'm in the game, of course. Just how, you know, I'm doing okay anyway. It's manageable. It's, it's, not, it's not the greatest feeling, you know? It feels like there's a delay, but that is just because of the... Again, the dead zones. Like it has some sort of dead zone there that you, you cannot change. You can't change it to 0.05 or something. It's probably on like 0.10 or something that makes it feel a little bit slow, a little bit, a little bit delayed more than it should be. Again, connection wise, I don't know how good connections are gonna be. The pings and stuff. That's something I imagine you guys will struggle with. I will probably struggle with too in this game. Just because as we saw, there's only 200 people playing this game i am playing at like almost midnight though so i will we'll let you you know guys know that in the uk i am playing at midnight so whether that has an effect or not i don't know but i feel like it must have a little bit of an effect on the game you know what jesus but yeah the camping everyone loves to camp still people are crazy with the camping in this game oh okay he was getting ready to throw a grenade at me but uh Oh, okay, I didn't see. I didn't see that guy at all. Even though like the the game looks decent on from what I'm playing, still sometimes get those moments where you just cannot see people, which was a big struggle in this game. I don't know. I don't know if it was just the color palette was not was not right or what. But yeah, it, it was a bit of a struggle to see people sometimes. But I do think this game was a little bit underrated. A little bit. I don't know. I, I don't want to say overheated because I don't feel like this game was hated. Again, I'm just. I'm not sure what people's thought process of this game was. It doesn't seem to pop up as a hated Call of Duty, love Call of Duty. It just doesn't seem to be ever in the discussion for anything. It just seems to be a 10th place card sort of thing. Like, it's just there. It existed. It was a it was a moment in time. And now we don't really talk about it. And we don't think about anything good that ever came from this game. It's a, it's a weird one. It's a very weird game. I don't understand. But again... Put in the comments down below. I want to know your thoughts and opinion. Did you love Ghosts? Did you hate Ghosts? Did you ever play Ghosts? And also, what version of Ghosts did you play? Did you play on the 360 or obviously PlayStation 3? Or did you play on the next gen? What was your experience? And uh, if you played both, actually, which one did you prefer? Did you play, prefer playing on the 360? Or did you prefer playing through your Xbox One or PlayStation 4? Whichever you may have played through. Right, so you have to get one kill while jumping. And then what? Do I get a kill streak or something? 
So right, am I just going to jump like a madman? Because I can't want to get this just for the sake of it, for the fun of it. Right, I'm jumping. I'm jumping. Did that count? Field order failed. Wait, well, I was, I was, I was jumping. I literally just jumped everywhere. But I guess, uh, I guess I didn't count. Something that I'm trying to do as well is like main, keep my aim up because uh, this game definitely was a, a not very sprint friendly game, right? You can, you could still run and gun, but it wasn't easy, okay? Again, because of the time to kill and that, and the ability to get your gun up quick enough, it was a little bit hard. But uh, connection-wise, doesn't feel amazing either. Again, as you can see, I can't bring up the ping bar. I can bring up the scoreboard, which is up there in the top right anyway, the whole game anyway. But I can't, uh, I can't unfortunately check the ping. And I don't feel like it's going to be that amazing. I feel like this is probably like a 100 ping game, possibly from just some feel. That's all I can go off with. It's just the feel. But uh. I don't know. What do you guys think? And I believe at one point we were supposed to have a Ghost 2, right? But I don't know. Did they think this game didn't do well enough so they didn't do a Ghost 2? Was there not supposed to be a follow-up to this game? Like, obviously I'm going based off of the campaign as well. I didn't play the campaign. However, if you guys did, let me know what your thoughts on it were. But I do believe people like liked the campaign quite a bit in this game. I think the campaign was really good, is from what I understand. And then, of course, you had... Uh, oh, what was the game mode called? It was their version of zombies. I can't remember what it was called off the top of my head, but I remember it like being aliens and stuff. It was interesting. It was Infinity Ward's take on zombies. Oh, wow, I just got slid on. But, uh, side cancer's back, people. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, it's a bit odd with the, uh, the bad dead zones and stuff, but, uh, it's okay. We're gonna roll through it, pick up some crazy headshots. I believe the headshot multiplier in this game was crazy, too. So if you hit a headshot in this game, you were dropping people fast. A little bit difficult, again, with the time to kill being so fast, but, uh, yeah. Oh, Jesus, that would have been a horrible spawn. It still is a horrible spawn. Yeah, we're, we're not getting any bullet wreck on people. I feel like the connection is probably not on our side here. But again, to be expected, there's not a lot of people playing this game. However, to answer people's questions, though, for anyone watching this video, you can, you can play this game. You can definitely hop on here. There's no one hacking, which is, uh... A good sign. I don't know if there are hacks available in this game, but from what I've played so far, there are no hacks. I wouldn't really expect there to be hacks, considering we're on uh, Xbox One and stuff. But, you know, the possibility is still there, you know? There's probably some weirdo out there who does have some sort of hack available for this game. But it's not like going back and playing a Black Ops 2 or something, right? And you're just going to run into hackers every game. But it's been an okay experience. Again, I'd like the connection to be better, but that's all just down to, you know, how... I don't know how to put it, uh, how populated the game is. And this game, I, I'm not surprised it's not that populated, you know? But it feels like a much better experience finding a game and playing a game than kind of going back to some of these older Call of Duty's back on the 360s, for instance. But uh, yeah, so I didn't do too amazing there. Not, not surprised, though. But yeah, I did okay. I topped the leaderboard, I guess, but I did die a few times. But uh, of course, we're trying to give you guys the full experience here of Call of Duty Ghost. So playable, alive, kind of. Not really, but you can get into a lobby if you want to get into Search and Destroy or any other game mode. Probably not. You're probably best off sticking with Team Deathmatch. Surprisingly, there's a Strike Zone playlist that you can't actually really play. I thought that'd be quite popular seeing that. But yeah, Call of Duty Ghosts 2023. Playable, not really alive. Not really the most alive looking game. As you can see, hardcore. Good luck. It says there's nobody in there if you're a hardcore fan. Uh, gun game if you want to mix with the eight people that are in it. But yeah, this this, this is... It's going to be labelled as a, a dead Call of Duty. But you can get on here and play, and it's not hacked from what I can tell so far. But it's an okay experience. going to be honest, it's an okay experience. It's not amazing, but let me know. What were your thoughts on Call of Duty Ghosts back in the day? Did you enjoy Call of Duty Ghosts? Would you go back and play Call of Duty Ghosts here in 2023? Let me know down below. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe, subscribe for notifications on. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye.